Did you see it? I saw it. It came on in the newsroom. It's an hour, right? We've still got 40 something minutes. Give or take, he said. We can't get out of the city in 40 something minutes. We don't even have a car. We'll get a cab. Hitch something. We can almost be out of the city in 40 something minutes. We're almost out of the city is, I'm fair sure, still in the we city. We don't have to be out of the city. We just have to be out of this part of the city. What? Do you think Mastermind is specifically targeting you or something? You don't, do you? No. We live in the center of the city. Where would you put a bomb? Here, right? I wouldn't put a bomb. Dork, if you were Mastermind. Where? I'd do the world a favor. Put it in my trousers. JD. Closer to the center of the city would do the most damage to property. Plus there'd be a greater population density. Lethality's gonna be an issue. See, so almost out of the city, good enough. Come on. There would also be disruption of city service, impeding the disaster response. Police reaction being inhibited, there'd be a rash of looting in districts marginally affected by the blast. It's actually an ingenious cascade of criminal strategy. Okay. Point made. Sharp pointy point. That's what I do. If I were mastermind. Right. Can we get out now? I don't think I can. Why the hell not? I think I'm mastermind. Funny. Like a one-eyed kitten with cancer funny. 
I think I was mastermind. You serious? I thought we agreed we weren't going to speculate about who you were before you woke up in the hospital. The man I fell in love with is much too good of a man to have ever been that bad of one. The man you fell in love with didn't exist until last New Year's. Before that, I could have been anybody. No, you couldn't. Besides, I covered Mastermind. We view war that demented criminal, terrorist, and weapons-grade asshole. I think I would know. It all fits. Mastermind's been off the radar for a year. The amnesia? You found me in that warehouse a year ago. Bad guys use abandoned warehouses for their evil lairs. Fact. So do homeless people. Not for evil, but for, you know, homes. We've been through this like a Google of times. You were probably just down on your luck. So now we're speculating. Right. Uh, speculating more fleeting. Besides, how many clean-shaven homeless guys do you find who can speak ten languages, do calculus, in his head? I know, it's weird. Sometimes doctors in med school cram their brain full of so much stuff it makes them situationally stupid. I mean, the medical knowledge edges out things like, I don't know, how to make a sandwich. Clearly, your brain was full of so much awesome that it pushed out everything else. Leaving you 50-something parts short of a deck. I think the expression is a few cards I know. short. That's you before me, the Jokers. I'm kidding. Come on, we've got a roll. You might be right. That's why the therapies didn't work. They were trying to get the regular cards, the Two of Hearts, the Ace of Clubs, the King of Diamonds, whatever. But all that was there are the two cards you can't play any games with. You're getting a lot of mileage out of that card analogy, ain't ya? Getting mileage in a cab, though? Much more advisable. Make legs go. The doctors were trying to draw out memories of a normal life. Normal? Qualifying the memories of a criminally insane madman as not normal. That's not what they were digging for. Well, good! Because I'd say trying to get those memories back, not fitting in with the Hippocratic Oath. Oh, the bit about only prescribing stuff from companies who pay for your Maui golf vacation? The part that says, first, do no harm? I'd say bringing back that masked douche nozzle would be, what's the word, harmful? Remembering where the bomb is and how to deactivate it wouldn't be a good thing? Jadie. Sweetie. The therapies were going nowhere. It was your decision to accept the present and forget the past, all right? It's who you are now. You like it? I like it. I love it. And supposing for a minute, we don't have time for things like supposing, but supposing that you were mastermind, you have been more than making up for it, using your mighty noggin for... Here, what's this? It's an idea for an electrical buffer storage device. It would eliminate brownouts and blackouts and reduce electric bills by storing unused electricity because the power is always on whether See? you're using it or not. All of the intellect, none of the assholery. Because you are not mastermind. Memories may be gone, but at the end of the day, it's this intellect that will have exploded a bomb. It's not the gun that commits the crime, it's the man. You are not that man. My brain is a gun. I'm not going. If I was mastermind, I am not running away from that. I will play along. You humor me when I want to play naughty TSA agent and you're the guy with the suspicious bolt. I'll humor you now. Liz. Fine. You are the mastermind. What are we supposed to do about it now? I need you to help me actualize the lost memories. No! You're supposed to, for once, say, I don't know. And then I say, hey, I've got an idea. How about we leave town and not risk getting turned into 300 collective pounds of ground chuck? 300 pounds? 305, Max. Fine. I will actualize. 
Do I need scented candles for this? You're just trying to spark the memories. It's like retracing your steps to find the lost remote. It's not until you see the kitchen that you remember you opened the freezer. Okay, I only did that a couple of times. Or more. You're actually perfect for this. You've met him. You've reported on his crimes. You can describe him and those events in detail. That's the only way this is gonna work. You can do this. I, I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna make like a banana and you know, get the hell out of Monkeyville. People could die. We could die if we don't get wheels up around okay, here. what's your damage? What are you talking about? All this fear isn't like you. I mean, given the things you've done to get a story, roaming abandoned warehouses for one thing, Going undercover at that Russian mob nightclub? You were even in that bank when Mastermind robbed it. So, so what do you have against this? Right now, there's not a story. There's just the Splody. Exploded people don't write things. Besides, if, and that's if, the capital if. If you were a Mastermind, why, in the name of astronaut Jesus, would I want to trade you in for him? It's not me for him. It's just getting the memories back. I don't know if it works that way. I mean, if all my memories are different, I'd be somebody else, right? So if you turn on a lifetime of being a twisted psychopath and only a year of being the awesome sauce, I think you still come out 95% evil. We are not our memories. I only have a year's worth of memories. I'm not nothing here. This is who I am. No, it's not. No. This, now, is who I am. The good man. I meant good and bad. You're really kind of a jerk. Liz, I have to... Yeah, we'll come back to that later. Right now, if there's a chance I can do something about this, I have to do it. Can you really ask me not to? Can you ask me not to be the man you fell in love with? I hate logic. I know you do. Logic sucks. Frequently. You are the mastermind. You use logic for bad. What do we do? What do I do? Just remember mastermind. Talk about me. Him. Talk about the times you met me. If I can see an event in my mind, that will trigger the memory of that event, which will in turn trigger a, a, a cascade of returning memories, which... What? You said cascade again. So? So only you could use a word like cascade twice in five minutes. I don't want that to be gone five minutes from now. Hopefully those returning memories will include where the bomb is and how to deactivate it. And maybe where he stashed his cash. That'd be good. How long? 24 minutes. 23, really. 22, really, really. When was the first time you met him? The bank. Tell me.
hard-hitting journalist Liz Lasseter. Wow. Did you pull down a Pulitzer for that series on the city's best Polish sausage? You are the best part of any plan. The thing I didn't expect. You heard the man! Speaking of things that you didn't expect. Have you not seen a heist film in the last 20 years? I imagine you also expect men to call after they pull their pants on, hopping out the door the next morning. I don't give them my number. It's for you, Mr. Mastermind. Take a message. You're not much of a reporter, are you? No notebook. You're not much of a bank robber, are you? Surrounded by the police? A means to an end. How is getting surrounded by a dozen SWAT dudes and half the Metro Police Force a means to an end? That's just insane. Silence! When you are speaking to me. Bonnie's gonna go out of blaze and crazy. It's suicide by SWAT. That's not it, is it? Blaze of crazy. It takes time to raid a vault and prepare to escape with enough to buy more than an RV to tour the beautiful Southwest, Tim. I intend to walk out of here. Through the front door. Write that down. In fact, in precisely two minutes and 40 seconds, the city's finest tactical squad will breach this room. They will look directly at me and do nothing. I'd like them to pee a little. Not even that. What are you gonna do? Change your colors like a chameleon? Go from a basic brown to a tasteful almond, blend in with the walls. You're gonna get all Pantone 1555. Chameleons do not change their colors for purposes of camouflage. Um, they do. A misconception. Chameleons change their colors as a method of communication. And. To attract mates. Sexy. No, really. What's it gonna be, big guy? Color change? Well, I'm feeling my decadent moment of benevolence coming on. I'm going to do you a favor. Several, in fact. Chief among them, I will be improving your professional lot in life, should you choose to take advantage of the advice I'm about to offer you. And I'm going to do it with an economy of words. Four of them, to be exact. In stark contrast to whatever it is you're doing just now. Okay, advice me up. And don't say, rob yourself a bank. No. Or buy low, sell high. You're an obnoxious woman. That the four words? The four words are these. You want to explain that? No. I feel... I feel... Very little, I would imagine. You're a dick, you know. Just a pancuronium based preparation of my own device. You'll be unable to speak or move, but you'll be conscious enough to watch. 
Ah, uh, here it comes. Three, two. You don't remember anything else? Lucky I remember the four words. He was right. Changed my career. After that, Mastermind became my beat. What were they? Count the SWAT dudes. The four words? Count the SWAT dudes? Didn't you read the story? I probably did, but for the life of me, I can't seem to remember it. You're an obnoxious man. I got a hold of the security video. He was there before the police arrived and gone 30 seconds later when the SWAT team secured the bank. There was one more SWAT guy leaving than when they burst in. You remember? No, two and two. Four. Impressive. Yeah, I've been able to count since I was like, this many. I meant his escape. Yeah, it was. He had the SWAT team's breach plan worked out to the second, and he used their own tactics. Why would he tell you his plan like that? I think he wanted to make sure people knew about it, that he had outsmarted the police. Anything coming back to you? No, nothing. Okay, well, we gave it a shot. We're running out of time and we should be running out of town. We need to roll. We need to try harder. Give me another one. No. You got one. It didn't work. Now I get one, and my one is we scurry. I'm Our not leaving. Room. You have to go too. I love you. I'm not leaving you here. This is a problem I can't solve, and I don't like problems I can't so solve. risk my life because you want to solve a problem? I want to risk my life to save lives. I'm asking you to help me. So that's the only way I'm going to get you out of here. Is to remember the bomb? Yeah. That, or you can whack me over the head with a chair. Why would you say that? Help me. We've only got a couple of minutes. It might be the couple of minutes that matter. This didn't happen when I was dating douchebags. Amnesiac supervillains. We're a whole other level. Okay. How about the time when he... Let me think. How about when he... When he assassinated the deputy mayor? You were there for that? No, not personally, but... Then you can't possibly have the details. I need to visualize what really happened accurately. Something else. The deputy mayor? Not the mayor, mayor? Because crazy people always make rational assassination choices? They were the diamonds, the royal labulites. And you were there for that? No, but I did a whole story on Liz! I told you I need details. The kind you only get from... Are you purposely trying to sabotage me? Okay, how about the time when I interviewed him? You interviewed Mastermind? He held the entire city council hostage in the chambers for two days. I was the only media person he spoke to. You were in the chambers? It was actually the only demand he made. For me to come in and interview him. At first I didn't want to. Where was he had bombs set up all around the chambers and they were tied to some doohickey that monitored his heartbeat or something. What if I said something to make him mad? I got a mouth on me sometimes. All right then. I can only think of one thing to say to him. One question to ask. Why? Because I can. So you have no reason for doing this? Because I can. There's a reason. I want these people. When I use the term loosely, I want them to see that however clever, however smart they think they are, that they can be reached, that they are not above the law, but I am. <laughs> so, this is an extortion? You're not, you're not asking for money? If I want money, you know for well. I can take it. You know what? to do it. That's an odd thing to say. <laughs> the deputy mayor? Comes to mind, yeah. It was called for. In hindsight, maybe. Why are you saying you knew? It was painfully obvious. If you're expert in political science, uh, labyrinthine city ordinances, convoluted financial stuff, 
abnormal psychology. I know that last one. How were you alive? This acid. You'd be the mayor now. In this entire I city. I broke that story. Inimical on the fairest said cogitus. Do not wish ill for your enemies. Plan it. It's just that you're the bad guy, right? Because you could be beginning to sound a little bit more like. Well, I hesitate to say good guy, and there are better ways than killing, stealing, and general bastardry. There are no. As you say, there are only people doing what they have to do to get what they need. I needed to kill him. And that's all you need to know. So what? It was a public service? Is that what this is? A public service? Putting the fear of God into corrupt oh, politicians? What? Putting the fear of you into corrupt politicians. Who are you to complain if it makes the trains run on time? Spoken like a true would-be dictator. Mussolini. Don't tell me that flatters you too. Not so much. For any reason that he did not make the trains run on time. The Italian rail system was the work of the administrations that came before him. They scarcely ran on time before, during, or after. So you're one demand. In two days of single-handedly holding the city council hostage. You call me in here for an exclusive interview in which you give me no clear or decipherable answers. You shouldn't be holding the council. You should be on it. This isn't working. Finally, you're firing up some neurons. Are you ready to run now? No, I just mean it's not the right incident. I'm not remembering anything. It's just not strong enough in my mind. I don't even know what the inside of the city council looks like. I can't... I can't visualize. I need something I can work with. I need... No! No more. We're getting out of here as fast as we can in however many minutes we have left. I can't leave while there's still a chance. I can. I am. I am leaving. And I will leave without you. And I will live without you. If you make me. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We gave it a shot. It didn't work. Hundreds of people will die. That's not our fault. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? We may not be able to get home tonight. The last I checked, still December. What are you doing? Handcuffs? Yours, TSA girl. You're insane. Given the amnesia, the mask wearing, the megalomania, quite possibly. I'm going to scream. Feel free. Everybody's, Everybody's gone, gone already. already. You want to be pissy for however many more minutes and blow up? Or do you want to try to help me save, if anyone, us? So this is how it's going to be? I bring back Mastermind? Or we both go kablooey? Or maybe not. There's no guarantee we're in range of the bomb. Hell, there's no guarantee there is a bomb. It's up to you. I can't do this without you. And you're gonna be here either way. 
Do you remember? Oh my god, if you don't remember this. Remember what? When you kidnapped me. The mastermind kidnapped you? Wait, you said when- This, here, doesn't feel familiar to you? It's not exactly the first time. You kidnapped me. You kidnapped me and held me in that old abandoned warehouse in the old abandoned warehouse, warehouse? district. That warehouse? It was a year ago. Not long after the city council thing. I wrote a piece. An opinion piece. About you. About Mastermind. It was called... What Mastermind Wants By the girl with the drastically reduced lifespan You think you know what I want? It was you that gave me the clue You said there are no bad guys Only people getting what they need I just figured out what it is you need Mastermind is a step above the cat that brings home the dead bird in its teeth and drops it at its owner's feet. He's saying, look what I can do. It's time we all stopped being impressed and living in fear of him. Talk about letting a terrorist win. You took the entire city council hostage because you could? What was that about? Or how about the way you felt you had to tell me how you were going to escape that bank job? Because I'm a reporter and you had to make sure people would know about it? That you had outwitted the police by design? Or the Royal Avi Light Heist? Those gems were so highly publicized it was practically a challenge to you and that's the only reason you did it. After all, those things were unfensible. Tell me I'm wrong! Do it because of you. Because of you, this is all your fault. And the reason why you won't be here in a few minutes in the, the spiritual, conscious, upright, and alive sense. Take a look, Green. The international color of toxicity. So you're in love with me? And you're gonna kill me anyway. Uncontrollable. I possess you in ways no one else ever can or will. I hate to break it to you, but you're not the only one to tie me up. Liz Lasseter, intrepid girl reporter, I have a news flash for you. I made you. And in return, you made me mastermind with a capital M. Um, no. The bank job was meant just to be an eight-figure ATM stop. You happened. You were fascinating. And understandably repelled by me. But I felt compelled. Better reporter, more successful, famous, and completely mine. While you played your part in my creation, your services are no longer required. You can't hold me responsible for you being a psychopath. I'm holding you responsible for not being enough of one. Are you implying I'm a bit psychopathic? You're inferring. I'm not. Inferring. In a moment, you'll not be inferring or maligning my good, my name. Or, in fact, breathing. Laugh maniacally when you say that, mister. <laughs> you'll find that I don't play by society's rules. Well, you would 
It's not for your impending doom. You know what the sad part is? Is yeah, you'll be known for your genius in the end. You're gonna be known for wasting it. You got an IQ of like something with a really large number, and you're using it for this. You get your justice. I'm just telling you not to struggle, but is there really a point? You could have pie, chocolate peanut butter, king pie. You'll be getting bread and water, or like Christmas fruit cake. You're evil, though. You probably like fruit cake and give it to people as a fruit gift. Yeah. That's not what justice means. And that kind of specific thing that you deserve, not specifically. You knew. I wouldn't have them if I couldn't get out of them. I was trying to decide what to do with you. Call the police? Or just kill you? Then you came too. It became clear pretty quickly that you pulled a Gilligan. You took a coconut to the cranium. And I saw an opportunity, a chance to not waste that brilliant brain. You were a blank slate, and I decided to draw you in I don't know. Something better. Someone better. Yeah. Someone you could fall in love with. No. I didn't plan that. I suppose it makes sense, though. Why wouldn't I fall in love with you? I kind of redesigned you. I can forgive that. I can. I can admire that, even. And I fell in love with you. And you didn't design that. But you knew. You came in here wanting to run away. But you knew. And when I said I wanted JD. to remember, that's not my name. JD is John fucking Doe. That's not my name. It is now. It's the name given to the man who woke up that night. And of the man I fell in love with. When I said I wanted to save lives, you still didn't say anything. I didn't want to lose you. God, I didn't want Mastermind back. How many lives is that worth? I don't know. I need you. Do you understand me? I need you. No, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Sounds to me. Like maybe you'd be a better match with Mastermind. It would explain all the flirting. Flirting? I'm not flirting. I wasn't flirting, I was just, you know, being a smartass. You do that junior high thing. You pick on boys you like. What about the... The bomb is even time? What's going to happen now? We're going to stay right here. What do you remember? I remember... At first, do no harm isn't really in the Hippocratic Oath. Really? Who are you now? What happens now? You'll know. By morning. How? It could be. I don't remember anything, but I've seen a new side of you, and I'll be gone by morning if we're still alive. It might be. I remember everything, and have turned back to the dark side, knowing perfectly well that we are not in danger. I now find you irresistible for your deviousness, but you won't love me anymore. So there'll be mind control drugs in your pancakes. Maybe. I remember being mastermind. But I'm still me. Mostly. 
What happens if that's the one? We explode. 